Shalom, Bruchim Abaim. Welcome to this video. In this video, we come back to this everlasting discussion about to be in the present tense. Yes, there is none, but there is a way of expressing it. And this I will show you now. So let's have a look. To be lihiot. We have it in the past tense, hu haya, he was. We have it in the future tense, hu yiye, he will be. And the present tense, well, nothing, nothing. So how would we say Yitzhak is here? Well, you simply forget about is, and then you say Yitzhak po. But when you want to make a point, like somebody saying, I cannot find Yitzhak, and you say Yitzhak is here, then you want to stress it, and then you say Yitzhak hu po. Hu po. So basically what you are saying in English is Yitzhak he here. So this is very typical for Semitic languages. And when you look at it closer, what did we do? We added the personal pronoun. A personal pronoun that was what again? Yep, those guys here. Ani, ata, at, hu, he, anachnu, atematen, hemhen. So these are personal pronouns and this is what we added. Actually, we said Yitzhak, he, here. This is how it works in Hebrew. And I'm sure you have already seen these kind of constructions. And you are wondering, what is that for? Do we actually need that? Well, yes, sometimes we do. Now, there is another thing to be aware of. Relative clauses. For example, this book is exactly what I was looking for. And here, book what? That is a typical construction of a relative clause. So in Hebrew, this would be Again, this book is who, here we do exactly the, the same. We add the personal pronoun. Is who exactly bidiuk what ma she? Ma she, this is very typical for relative clauses, and you need the she. You cannot leave it out. So ma she, what I was looking for. Chipasti. For Hebrew speakers, that's also strange that. English speakers put another four at the end. That's a little bit um, the same confusion when English speakers say, why do I need she? Well, yeah, that goes into the same direction. Okay, but what I want you to take home from this example is that, again, we added the personal pronoun to express to be in the present tense. All right? All right, so that was a short video. I hope you liked it. And I hope I see you in the next video. Neshikot Shalom.